Hey everybody, and Tony here with a review of Misha Spoljanski's Heute Nacht oder Nie, which was shown at the Komische Oper Berlin. The conductor and the gentleman who played the pianist was Kai Titia. The production was done by Stefan Huber. The choreographer was Danny Costello. The costumes were done by Heike Zeidla. The dramaturgy was handled by Johanna Wall, and the lights were done by Diego Leitz. This musical revue also made its premiere at this very opera house three months ago. And based from what I saw tonight, the story is rather simple, but it's also peppered with some really nice humor and a sweet moment between some of the characters on stage. We basically start off with a pianist who enters the stage, presumably in 1930s Berlin in a bar. And after him, we see a slew of colorful characters entering the stage, from the sharp-tongued prostitute to the sassy and snarky lesbian who has the tendency to spout out a lot of French words, the provincial man and the young woman who might end up becoming a couple later on in this musical, hint, hint, the bonze who is rather overweight and tends to be very sarcastic, the attorney who is really unsure of what he wants to do with his life, the taxi driver who constantly complains about his lot in life, and we have the chorus girls who basically come in to really entertain the show. So yes, the story is not really that deep, nor is it too rich in plot, but it is rather satisfying on the entertainment levels and just how entertaining and just how fun it can really be. With that said, let's get on to what I thought about the entire production and the costumes. For a mainly concert-like production, this does make a great use of its environment and a great use of the lighting, which I really have to give props to. They basically imagined that they were in a bar set in the 1930s and you could really tell that everyone really used their imaginations and really made it work. And the costumes looked absolutely gorgeous on each and every performer. I especially loved the costume of the Bonza. I presume the gentleman who wore that costume had a fat suit just to make him look like loads of pounds heavier, which I found very interesting and found very enjoyable. But overall, I'm not going to mince words here. The costumes really were elegant and really spoke to what the people wore during the 1930s. But if I really have to give mad props, it really has to be the lighting. The lighting is very dramatic and it is very gorgeous and it just really speaks in volumes of just how well done this entire production really is. And now we get to the principal performers. We start off with the pianist who was played by Kai Titia, who was not only a really wonderful conductor, which I'll be more specific on when I talk about his conducting, but I really love his singing voice and I love his acting talent on stage as he was able to really play along well with all of his co-stars and he was also the one that practically carried the weight throughout the entire evening and then we get the prostitute played by andrea schneider who really peppers her lines with a lot of sarcasm irony and a lot of fun to boot she was definitely a lot of fun on stage and she had a very huge personality brimming with enthusiasm, brimming with excitement, and just brimming with such a big personality that she practically really made the evening her own. The lesbian was, interestingly enough, played by a man. He was the Swiss actor Christoph Marti. He had a very great stage presence. At times, I felt like he almost reminded me of the likes of Marlena Dietrich, Kay Davis, Joan Crawford, and many of the great actresses of the past. I could tell that he probably might have done a great amount of research, emulated those actresses, and made this character his own and not a caricature. 
Not to mention, I really dig his Dance of the Seven Veils like number. It was absolutely fun just to see this multi talented gentleman really be as versatile and as fun as possible. Then we get Christoph Spett, who played the role of the taxi driver. He was able to make this guy a very gruff, yet kind of loving character, and kind of very enjoyable to watch on stage. His vocal assets were of the prime order, as he was able to really sing his lines gorgeously with such a clear, focused timbre and with such great comic timing. Mirka Wagner sang the role of the young woman, and let me just tell you, she did fabulously in this role. She continues to use her very gorgeous and scintillating instrument to bring out the best of this character, and her duets with the tenor, Johannes Dunz, was absolutely very wonderful. And speaking of Johannes Dunz, he played the role of the provincial man very well with such a youthfulness and such a charm that was just so immersed in his performance. And he and Mirka Wagner looked absolutely amazing together. And we get The Lawyer done by Stefan Kurt who was able to be very hilarious without being too clownish, and he was able to sing very, very well. And we have the Bonze, done by Tobias Bonn, who has an excellent voice. His tenor voice manages to ring throughout the evening, and his stage presence was a lot of fun fun to watch. Then we get the chorus girls who were sung by Mary Amaniemi, Anke Mertz, Maya Zecora, and Mariana Souza. Very entertaining, very enthusiastic, and absolutely gorgeous. So overall, I am impressed with the overall performances that these actors, actresses, and singers really had to give. And the conducting done by Kai Titia was absolutely well done as he kept the orchestra together and he was able to really balance his acting skills, his singing skills with everything he's learned in the field of being a musician. So overall, this was definitely a very wonderful evening of watching this musical revue. If you haven't seen this yet, then please, by all means, go check it out. The performances are absolutely stellar. The staging is very well done, and even though the story may not grab you, I'm sure the music will definitely be of great interest, as some of the musical pieces were also composed by Marlena Dietrich and were also inspired by her as well. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to tune in on Friday where I review The Magic Flute at the Deutsche Oper Berlin starring Nina Minasian as the Queen of the Night. So until then, good night everybody and I hope you all have a great 4th of July.